Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. You you saw the you saw the title of the video. You know what the hell this is about. Why I don't use the N word. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna go there. We're gonna get into that because I do get a lot of stupid questions about it. And given the drama that PewDiePie is currently embroiled in because he used the word in a fit of rage during an online gaming stream, I figured good a time as any to sort of explain my position on not using the word and why I have so diligently, you know, not used the word and have completely avoided the word uh, when sort of, you know, publicly engaging in online spaces. Uh, let's get into it. One, and this is kind of a, you know, twofold issue here. It's a matter of respect and it's a matter of understanding, especially uh, important to me because in my line of work, I am regularly stepping into, interacting in, and engaging with predominantly black spaces. I mean, it's just not really cool, you know? I mean, I feel like as somebody who, you know, um, uh, I, I guess is white, you know, uh, I, I don't feel like uh, I can just kind of step into the house of hip-hop and just be like, well, I'm just going to say and do whatever the fuck I want, okay? Okay. You know, obviously, I feel like at the end of the day, my opinion is my opinion. You can agree with it or disagree with it, whatever. But, um, you know, I feel like uh, th there are certain ground rules that because I don't want everybody fucking pissed off at me, everybody's already pissed off at me, you know, <laughs> because I don't want everybody fucking pissed off at me and because I want to, you know, sort of, uh, uh, you know, be a good guest then I'm just not going to, you know, break the rules. I'm not going to be rude, you know, and this also goes beyond just the whole racial thing, you know, because the thing is uh, when you guys click on my videos, I see myself as kind of giving a small lecture or I see myself as uh, being a guest in your house. And that's not really language that I would use if I was sort of invited into your place to sort of have a conversation about music, you know, with people who are pr presumably strangers to me. I haven't met you face to face. You know, those aren't words that I would just be kind of casually whipping out because, again, that's just not really cool. That's kind of rude. That's just kind of a little, you know, over the top, above and beyond. It's not necessary. You know, there are certain feelings and, uh, you know, um, historical, you know, pieces of historical baggage added to that word that it's just not really uh, necessary to use, you know. Um, also, I feel like the part of, you know, respect and understanding as well that needs to be emphasized here is that people are sensitive, people, you know, are quick to react, and that's just kind of a fact of life. That's okay, you know? It's, it's not like, you know, for you to battle against. Like, every generation has its taboos, every generation has its sacred cows, every generation has its fights and its struggles and... You know, racism and everything that comes along with it is certainly a hot button topic and an issue for this generation as it has been for many other prior to this one in the United States of America. And uh, again, you know, I feel like being averse to using words like that, um, you know, in such a casual or a negative or a nasty context is sort of a part of under understanding these problems, understanding these issues. Um and the, you know, last thing I want to say about this is, you know, to the point of, uh, you know, trying to get angry over people over getting offended over such words, it's such a waste of time, especially when you're on the internet where people can easily just kind of retreat into their echo chambers, you know, where they'll just essentially reinforce whatever it is they say or they believe or whatever, you know, like sort of getting embroiled over this stuff, especially on social media, just really doesn't fix anything. Um, number two. The reason that I do not use that word in my videos, even though there are lots of people who say, hey, you know, can't you just quote a lyric? Isn't it okay to quote a lyric with the N-word in it? Or, you know, can't you just say the name of the Death Grips album, Anthony? Or, uh, you know, I've even had people uh, uh, who are black saying, hey, man, it's totally cool. I, I wouldn't get upset with you about it. But listen, it's, it's not to do with any one person's opinion. It's to do with my personal preference. It's to do with... Just the fact that I want to, you know, sort of have manners, I guess, is, is sort of the way that I look at it. Um, but uh, the second thing that I wanted to say is I'm not really your conduit on this issue. I mean, you may have some passionate feelings about the usage of this word, but I am not your canary in the coal mine. It is not for me to use that word and then incur whatever social wrath comes at me after using it, just so you can sort of sit there and feel like, yeah, man, Ugh. like, you know, it's, it's such a stupid fight in my opinion. <laughs> 
when it comes to the N-word, I, I'm really pro-choice. I would not use it myself. You know, you can use it all you want. If you want to give yourself that look, go for it. You know, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, but would I, would I give myself that look? No. You know, that is not a look I want to give myself. That is not a look I endorse, not a look I'm really cool with. Uh, you know, but if you want to, if you want to paint yourself that way, then go for it. Um, and, uh, you know, finally to this argument that has been shot to me in multiple emails saying, you know, D don't let these offended SJWs dictate the, the way you speak, man. Don't let them control you, dude. Um, listen, I, I have, I have not been using the N word <laughs> For years, uh, long before SJWs were even a thing, which are a very recent occurrence. So uh, again, my reasons go back to uh, some very long-standing personal beliefs that have very little to do with the context of now. Um, uh, listen, you know, to the idea of wh why would you let someone control you? Why would you let someone have that control, dude? I don't know. Why would I let you guys dictate? Uh, my listening habits every fucking day? Why would I let YouTube dictate uh, uh, how I make my videos and, you know, what my videos are through, uh, you know, uh, uh, the copyright, you know, system uh, and, uh, you know, the DMCA system and the terms of service? Um, why would I let corporations take my tax money, take money out of the money that I make, and then spend that on subsidizing big businesses and uh, building weaponry to kill innocent people in another country. Listen, as a person who lives in modern society, you give up control on dozens of things every day. Why is it this one thing, you know, and not even this one thing, just generally, you know, the idea of I should be able to say whatever I want without anybody getting mad. Like, why is this one idea of just like, I, I don't know, being able to say the N word or really being able to say whatever you want without offending anybody? Why is that like the most important idea in your head of like, well, I'm just I'm just giving up too much control. I'm giving up too much control here. Like. That's probably one of the smallest concessions, the smallest and most polite of concessions that one probably could make, you know, in everyday life. Like you make much bigger and much more compromising concessions every day in, in act, like when you're not online, chances are, you know, you, you talk a really big game when it comes to saying the N word on the internet, but uh, I guarantee you shut the fuck up and listen, and you don't say anything you want when your mom is talking to you, or your grandma's talking to you, or your girlfriend's yelling at you, or your professor or your teacher at school's talking to you, or your boss at work is talking to you. I guarantee in those settings, you don't say whatever I want. That's just my free speech, man. Like, I guarantee uh, you're, you're not trotting that horse out. Uh, when you're talking to those people. And if you do, congratulations. I mean, you most likely lead a very lonely life. <laughs> in, in my opinion, there are bigger fish to fry than this. I mean, honestly, like this is not making sure every American has health care. This is not a living wage. This is not, you know, changing our super aggressive and disgusting foreign policy. Like there's so many other gigantic problems in the world. People are literally like knee deep in water right now in Texas or their homes are destroyed. Uh, you know, people's domiciles are being destroyed in Florida right now. You know, this is not climate change. Okay. This is being mad that other people are offended over the things that you say. And I mean, I'm sorry, we don't live in a country where people um, can't not react to the things that you fucking say. Um, you know, I, I see that there are two kind of people right now that are really just like kind of a, in a constant ideological struggle. And that's the people that are pissed at statements other people make. And then there are people who are pissed at the reactions that other people have at those statements. And if you're really the type of person who is like screaming from the rooftops, uh, uh, you, you should think, or, or you know, you're screaming from the rooftops that, that you think nobody should comment angrily on a statement that you say, nobody should try to regulate what you're saying, then why are you putting in so much effort to try to regulate how people are responding? You know, because obviously other people are free to respond the way that they want to respond if you think that you're free to say what you want to say. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you are free to say whatever the fuck you want to say. As, as far as I know, you could say the N-word a million times 
And it's not like the cops are just going to start busting down your door and swat your family and imprison everyone that you love. Like, as, as far as I understand in my in my home country, that's not how it works. So you are free to say whatever the fuck you want to say. But the thing is, like, it, it's not like people can't get offended or people can't get mad at the things you say. Like, that's kind of the choice that you fucking make. You know, like, that's the bed you made. So fucking sleep in it. I don't know what you, I don't know what else I don't know what else to fucking say, man. Like. People, if, if you're free to say what you want to say, people are free to respond how they want to respond. So I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, that's it's kind of a fact of fucking life. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, again, to kind of recap, that's not why I use the word. It's a matter of respect and understanding. It's a matter of, you know, trying to, as an entertainer, just in general terms, just be on people's good side. You know, obviously... I only walk that up to an extent, you know, I don't sort of sacrifice my honesty when it comes to my opinion on an album, when it comes to being on people's good sides. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really my place, nor do I think it's, it's many other people's places to decide what does and doesn't offend other people or how, you know, much or little people can be offended at a particular thing. Um, I, I think if you really care about freedom, then you should give other people the freedom to feel how they want to feel when they hear a word like the N word, you know, or how they or how they hear whatever, you know, I mean, sure, you know, in turn, you could have an opinion about someone's opinion about your statement or your opinion, but that's just kind of the cycle. That's just the way that it goes, you know, and uh, that's it at the end of the day. I don't know. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's why uh, that's why I don't use the word. And, and I guess the, the final thing that I'll say and, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a, a thing specific to me, is that if I use it, <laughs> and it's so funny to me that some of you guys bring this up and question me on, on my hesitant to my hesitance to use the word, um, as if, like, you guys haven't been my audience for the past, like, almost 10 years or so. I Listen, I know you guys, okay? I know you. The moment I use that word, you will turn it into a fucking meme, so... <laughs> And I don't want that. I don't want that. I, I really don't. I, I really, really, truly do not. So, uh, and there you go, guys. There you go. That's, uh, that's my reasoning. Those are my answers. And uh, let's all grow up and talk about more important things. Okay? Love you. Bye. Uh...